Yes, good moss. Very good moss. <laughs> Good morning friends, welcome to day 125. Fern packed up, got done packing up a bit early and scampered on ahead. So I'm trying to pay, uh, play a little catch up right now. We had a pretty decent night's sleep, the Crystal Mountain tent site. It was nice and crispy and cool when we woke up today. Almost too cool. Ooh, getting there. We're getting into the north. But the best part about it, you guys, no bugs. They have simply vanished, at least for now. It seems it's a, it was a little bit too cold for them last night or something. But yeah, nothing, not swatting my face. This is real nice. Um, that heat wave that we had, pretty much all over now. And I'm hoping that mornings are gonna get back to uh, being a little bit more like this. Uh, with, you know, crisp and some coolness to the air. It's a really nice and refreshing way to start your day. Not hot and already humid and like 78 degrees when you wake up and you're already sweating. Ugh, that's just gross but uh it seems like we've passed the dog days of summer and we're hopefully gonna be starting on the uh on the downward slope to uh to a beautiful autumn yeah today is gonna be real exciting we got mount greylock ah spiders the spiders are still out Ooh, still smells like coffee. I spilled a little bit of coffee in the tent again today. Wasn't too happy about that, but uh, party foul. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're gonna be hitting up Mount Greylock in about 12 miles. The Mass Vermont border is in 22 and a half. Not sure if we're gonna make that. We're setting it in our sights. Who knows, maybe we'll, uh, Maybe we'll have a, a good day today. But Greylock is gonna be a decent climb. So we'll, we'll probably know after, after we do that if we're gonna be able to continue on much further. It's, uh, it's gonna be a real good day today. I think high of only 76. Oh, oh man, this is great. I'm a little smelly because we've been sweating so much the past few days and every single one of my shirts is just filled with sweat and I don't know what ha like I, I heard that um, if you don't have enough cal if you're not eating enough calories during the day and you're you're burning more than you're consuming then you'll well you'll actually start to you know your body will start to eat away at the muscle and the you know that's happening when you sweat into your clothes and then the next day you smell it and it just smells like ammonia that that's when you know that your body's eating away at the muscle and uh, you don't, you're not taking in enough calories. And that was, I took a whiff of my, my green hoodie this morning after wearing it briefly yesterday and sweating into it. <sighs> well, last night, it's, it just smelled like straight up ammonia. So I hung it up, hung it up overnight and that seemed to uh, air it out. Hopefully those days are behind us. And uh, yeah, today's gonna be a really good, good day. Let's try to catch up to Fern. Wow. There's the town of Cheshire and the Cheshire Reservoir right there. 
How are you feeling today, Fern? Much better. Yeah. 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 Yesterday was a tough day, but today is a new day. A beautiful day. It is. And oh, it looks like you can even get down here. Maybe good for some cowboy camping. <laughs> Too bad. There's no snakes here. Maybe. Maybe. I saw a garter snake yeah, saw the other that. day. No deadly but snakes. No deadly snakes. <laughs> now I wonder if this is the cobble. I don't know what a cobble is, but it certainly looks like a cobble. Mm -hmm. Some cool little cliff action here. So we had just descended down into Cheshire and you walk right through this cute little neighborhood and we saw a kid set up selling lemonade and we just knew we had to give him some interaction. So his name was Luca and his brother Mason was there with him. I think he was just his friend. Or maybe his friend, we don't know. But wow, it really just gave us a big whop of nostalgia. They were driving. We also took Venmo, which was uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, we didn't have Venmo when we were that age. So yeah, that, modern. That was something new. Modern kid lemonade yeah. stands. Modern kid lemonade. Where they take Venmo. <laughs> they were just so cute. They were driving around a remote control little car and uh, just hanging out. And he was playing his Switch. Very social, very sweet kid. And definitely best lemonade on trail. Oh, yeah. So we've come to this cheese. <laughs> this, this big wheel of cheese. Real cheese. That was apparently presented to Thomas Jefferson. It's the mammoth cheese. The mammoth. Is this real? No. no, that is that is not real. That is not real cheese. Rebellion, Rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. Interesting. Hmm. hmm. So it looks like they're building some type of monument here. Not not finished yet, but it's for John Leland. John Leland, Baptist minister. Securing our First Amendment. That's cool. This place has a lot of history. First the cheese, now this. Oh, look, I guess we're on the AT because there's corn. <laughs> oh, there's always corn. You can't escape it. Hey, look. Hey, look, there's some corn. Look at them. Look at that corn. <laughs> yeah, well, these ones aren't big enough, though. They're little baby corns. That's funny. Even in the middle of town, you still walk through a cornfield. <laughs> oh, man. Dollar General. I'm going to Dunks. We so, finally figured out why it feels like home here. Yeah, we had this realization. We were like, okay, we know we're in Mass, but we've never been to this part of Mass. It just feels like we're home. It's, it's just, weird. we've never been here before. And we realized like, oh yeah, it's like kind of overcast today. Like, and it's not raining. Yeah, and we haven't had a day like this on trail since we can remember where it's just been overcast Funny. and just not raining. And we realized, oh yeah, because that's how it is all the time in Mass. When it's, it's not always raining, gloomy and raining and, and this, overcast. It's just blazing hot sun or rain. There's no in between. Yeah, yeah. And now we're like, oh yeah, we're home. We're home. Yeah, that's that's why we feel that way. But it's still nice. It's really, really nice. We really love it that it's overcast right now, so it's okay by us. And I'm loving Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, we're at. We just had some dunks, some good dunks. We spent two hours there uploading. It was We're, great. Yeah, it was what we needed, and we don't we don't care. It was We're, very nice. You know, we're at Dollar General now. We met some southbounders who were oh, very yeah. nice. Oh yeah, yeah. We met some really cool southbounders that Lever. were telling us about what was up ahead. Yeah. Lever and Cheerio. 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 <laughs> Gotta say it with the British accent. <laughs> he just said Cheerio. I was like, no, Cheerio. <laughs> but um yeah some some pretty cool people they just started about yeah. two months ago I really think. good morning yeah so, so headed back to trail now whoop, whoop. get our tunnel on 
So this is our first little view of Greylock. So we got to go up this hill here, follow the ridge, and then right in between, like right in here, you can just barely see it, is the that little uh, the thing on top of Greylock. There's like a something made it's of a glass, ball. a glass ball or something, but you can just barely make it out in the notch right there. So it looks far. Just a hop, skip, and a jump, hop, skip, and a jump mate. We'll be there in no time. A few jumps. I don't know who made this. It's like a piece of birch bark in a heart. And the, even the string, oh, <laughs> even the string is like made out of a vine. So it. someone totally just came out here and crafted this out of trees. It's nature's decoration. It's so beautiful. And then they just hung it there next to the blaze. I love it. I hope we find more. <laughs> this is amazing. Starting to smell a little bit like Christmas up in here. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. You, oh my God. You smell it? I smell it. Oh boy, look at these. And I'm not sweating like a pig. I know, we're not sweating. It's nice and cool. And uh, we just basically just reached the top of the kind of ridge line that Mount Greylock is on. We got a little bit, well, a little bit more up, but... It was a decent climb. Good climb. Um, we have a little bit of flat, kind of flat-ish ahead of us. And then we make the final push up to the summit of Greylock. Yeah, we haven't seen forest like this since, uh, I guess since, since the Smokies or, or Unaka Mountain. Yeah. Unaka Mountain had, um, in North Carolina, I believe, uh, had this really cool pine grove also but yeah it's been a while so we are hype and we keep running into these spruce groves they're so amazing but yeah we've also been seeing a lot of sobos today we saw i believe 13 but could be as much as 15 that we passed and no nobos which is pretty crazy they they've outnumbered us the for the first time. Turned. Yeah, the tides have turned. I think trail's about to get real busy. Yeah, the people that we're seeing started uh, about two months ago, around like June 7th. And the uh, Katahdin opened on the 22nd of May. So we're, we're about right. to see the big bubble of Sobos we're coming go up. right through a big yeah. bubble. Look at this. Look at this spider. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Look at him. It's a big spider. Oh, okay. I know, you're just picking it. Are you gonna brew tea with it tonight? I might. Oh my god, that'd be awful. It's heavenly. <laughs> uh. Moss. Oh. oh, I'm just petting it. Yes, good moss. Very that. good moss. Oh, and look at those little, little oh. piney things. Look at this little Charlie Brown tree. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a moss apocalypse. Okay. Just stumbled on this amazing little alpine lake right here I gotta see what this is is it even on it is Rockwell Pond and it, there's even like a little 
cabin or shed type thing over there. That's so cool. Wow. Love it. Wouldn't use it as a, you wouldn't use it as a water source. Water does look pretty uh, tinted, but I mean I'm sure you still could. Ooh, there's a frog. Hey, oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, wow, what a cool little find. How oh, we've made it to Mount Greylock. Oh, is that? Is that enough? That's a view. There's a big gray cloud in it. Above us right now. Whoop whoop! Oh my god, it's freaking close call. What are you doing here? Who thought you left long ago? I'm waiting for you guys. Ah, what a nice guy. <laughs> How is it? It's just an amazing place. Ooh, look at that. Let's get closer. Here we are. Tower of Mount Greylock. The only subalpine environment in Massachusetts. Subalpine. <laughs> I guess I guess you can get to the top too, so we're definitely gonna show a view from up there. silly things they got the topo here let me see we came along there across the ridge and then Greylock is right there little bump and then we go down and off the mountain hello hello friends we have spent way too much time here that's the Greylock Memorial Oh, it's just been so great though. It's 6.15 and we met this really beautiful couple. Their names were Paul and Darlene. And yeah, I just feel like it was meant to be that we met them and they were so sweet. He said the most beautiful prayer for us right there. And yeah. oh my gosh, it like really almost amazing. brought me to tears. It was just like <laughs> yeah, that was, so kind. I was not expected and it was, it was really amazing. Yeah. yeah really uh you know made us uh gave us the strength we needed to get to camp <laughs> it really did so. today's been such just like a crossroads kind of day and man 
we are just so thankful to have met both of you and yeah, thank you thank you so much for the beautiful words and uh yeah god bless you both so just three miles to camp we'll see if we close this. call threw down sooner we're hoping <laughs> yeah we're all hoping. right we'll catch you soon yeah hello everybody and we are here in our tent and, and camped out on a wooden platform we made it for the to first time. the uh, Wilbur Clearing Shelter and Close Call saved us a nice spot here. And uh, yeah, we just had a really beautiful descent down the mountain and got here just in time yeah. without needing our headlights. And we were able to set up just barely in just time. Just barely in time. Yeah, and then so. we get dark. Then it got dark on us. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh. Really yeah. great day. Um, Amazing day. started out emotionally bad and then just we had a fun time uh, in Cheshire hanging out and then we just hit just the magical forest that we know and love and then yeah, yeah just great lock and, and meeting Paul and Darlene so it was just an incredible day. Yeah it was a a healing day it was. for sure. It was a crossroads kind of day. Yeah. So we're grateful mm -hmm. for everything that happened today mm -hmm. and everyone we met. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a nice day to be home again, at least a little bit closer. We'll hit Vermont tomorrow and mile 1600. So it's gonna be yes. a really, really oh. big day for us crazy and uh yeah as always we're just so so thankful to be out here and so grateful that you're tuning in and following along so yeah. thank you everyone thank you right. <laughs> have a right, beautiful guys. night catch you guys in the morning